Fall in China means the highly anticipated hairy crab season. This crab comes from the freshwater lake downstream of the Yangtze River. 20 years ago, only locals living in the lake area could enjoy their taste. Today, more than 300 million Chinese hairy crabs are delivered to vendors and gourmands nationwide, alive and within 72 hours. With emerging markets taking active roles in globalization, each country depends more on trade, pushing express delivery to grow faster than average. In 2018, China's express delivery sector handled 50 billion parcels, topping the world five years in a row. Today's volume aside, the concept of express delivery wasn't introduced to China until 1979. Starting 140 years late, the Chinese went from an annual 100 million parcels to a daily 100 million parcels in 18 years. As demand grows rapidly, the bar for on-time delivery has been set even higher. Apart from fresh food, such as the Chinese hairy crab, the expected delivery time for normal packages is also a mere 72 hours. Can delivery crews work fast enough to satisfy customers' expectations? As soon as the delivery man picks up a package, all data on the bill is transferred to the system. By connecting 200,000 hubs in the network, the system instantly calculates the optimal route for transportation. Next, the package arrives at the designated distribution center and waits to be sorted by a robot. Currently, the algorithm-backed system also predicts restocking patterns based on big data. When the customer places an order, all goods are dispatched from the nearest warehouse to cut the shipping distance. However, this smart operation does not bring up the rates. In 2018, the Pitney Bowes Parcel Shipping Index showed that the average shipping price of a parcel was $8.95 in the U.S., whereas the same in China was $1.83 with even better service. In some developed countries, it is not rare to miss the delivery man or watch a delivery truck leave right under your nose, even if you're home. But in China, the delivery business thrives to make a difference in the last mile. This is a normal residential unit. Usually, express delivery companies will work with property managers and convenience stores to set up free parcel pickup hubs and smart lockers. Once a package reaches the locker, the customer will get a text message reminder and a pickup code to retrieve the package anytime. Convenience stations like this have already covered 75 cities in China, and tens of thousands of pickup hubs have been set up in communities and on campuses. This way, consumers can easily take control of when they'd like to receive packages. The express delivery sector has strongly supported all kinds of economic activities. On China's Black Friday in 2013, the largest e-commerce platform Taobao sold 10 billion RMB worth of products in six hours. Five years later, it only took two minutes and five seconds. In addition to e-commerce, the sector also serves a wide range of industries, including finance, transportation, retail, medical rescue, you name it, boosting cross-border trade and driving the market to maturity. Express delivery in China created more than 3 million jobs and reached the number one parcel volume in the world.